Hey everyone, how's it going? I was making a, a YouTube tutorial today to tell you about a great website I've come across thanks from a recommendation from my wife who's been using this particular site for the last couple of years on different graphics uh, editing as well as photo editing. Now this site is pretty awesome. I've only been using it for about like two days right now but it's been able to do exactly everything I would like it to do um, I'm, while well, I'm still in the process of learning Photoshop. Now the reason why I'm showing this video is so you can have a free way of doing graphic uh, editing or designing and uh, you know since like Photoshop costs you know a pretty good penny depending on how you come across it and where you buy it from and uh, whatnot. Now there is plenty of websites online for this. Uh, my wife actually does use a couple of them but this one in particular I just liked it so I wanted to make a video uh, for those of you looking for something quick and easy. Now, real quick before I get into the video, if any of you all do not like this website for any reason, such as the features that it has to offer or whatever the case may be, simply go up into Firefox or Google Chrome in the search bar and just type in free graphics editor. Okay, and then you have a bunch of different ones that you can choose from you know here as well the other thing you can type in is free photo editor and again there's a bunch of different ones here that you could uh, try out as well now the one I'm gonna talk to you today about is called ribbit.com okay yes it sounds just like a frog or ribbit frog um, but it, that's what it's called is ribbit.com and this is the f main web page for it as you can see now, unfortunately, for some odd reason, on their main page, there's nowhere to actually click on to log in. So what you just do is just click on um, log in, or not log in, but editor, or any of these other tabs. And it'll load a page. That'll take just a minute to load. Okay, then what you're going to do is, since you're going to be new to the site here, you're first going to click on register. Now, when you click on register... It'll just ask you for some simple information and then, you know, free to create your account. Now, since I have an account, I'm going to click on sign in. I'm going to type in my username and password. And voila, I'm in. Okay. Now, to show you a little bit about what's going on here, let's just go ahead and upload a photo. And what we'll do is just go and click on 4th of July, click on something like this, and it can be done with any kind of photo you have. Okay, now see that that's there. Now let's just say that uh, you're in, like myself, a couple work from home businesses, okay? Or that this is just a personal uh, photo that you're going to put on uh, 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 Facebook or something like that, okay? Now let's say, for instance, uh, up here you got all these different things you could choose from, okay? First thing I want to show you how to do, because a lot of people are going to want to do this from watching this video, is how to add text. So I'm going to click on the text icon there. Right here, click, uh, type in whatever you want. Let's just say, for instance, I want to type in a website, okay? And then I can click on that. Now, as you can see, it put the, the text right there. But, of course, it's kind of hard to see white text on every other background. Uh, in this in this particular case over here in the font color you can change the color of the font to anything you want and you can see right here where it's changing it okay so for temporary we'll go ahead and do black and I'll do bold okay and here as you can see you could you can make it go anywhere you want you can rotate the text however you which way you want and if you want it a different way or you know however have you all right now you can put it right there Okay. Now, let's say, for instance, you're uh, promoting a business. Okay, uh, I'm not going to use any of my own URLs for that. But uh, again, you could just, you know, type in whatever URL you want, place wherever you want. Now, let's say you want to add something else. Okay, again, you could uh, take, uh, click right back in the box for the text editor, type in something else, like say Happy Fourth of July. Add. See, it adds even more text. Now let's say you want to change this to some other color. Let's say we're going to do uh, maybe a red, okay? 
Now over here, you see the different fonts, okay? Now the font I normally like using is the Poston 1, uh, just because it's kind of unique and, you know, whatnot. So to me, I just like it a lot better than some of the others, okay? Then as you can see, that's pretty much it, okay? Uh, you know, to be able to add the text and everything. Now let's say you want to touch it up some, okay? Or you want to add a frame, for instance. Let's go to frame. All right here is, as you can see, is all the different kinds of frames you can add for anything that you want to do for. Okay. Now let's go over here and look at touch up. Here you got plastic surgery, blemish fix, shine be gone, airbrush, wrinkle remover, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now let's say, for instance, you want to do a clone. Okay. Cloning is very easy. Here you can change the brush size. Over here, you go like this. Let's change it up a little bit more. You click right here, okay? Now, right there is where it's going to look like. Now, let's go over here in the white star. Let me click on it and look. See? It's changing it to what the, um, the other part over here is like. You know, with that green circle, what the uh, arrows in the middle of it look like. Now if I go over here and I click on this and go down, see how it changes it all for me? See, just like that. Now let's say, oh no, that looks really messed up and I didn't mean to do that. Simple. Just scroll down here, click on cancel, and all goes right back to the way it was. Or if you're doing it, and you mess it up somehow the other like that right there go back to eraser then just go over it and it takes it all back to the way it was before you did anything at all to it okay now here for instance here's different frames let's say you want let's say you're a girly girl for instance you want to do hearts of roses okay you can go just like that and boom it puts the background of a hearts of roses you can also decide if you want them um, a lot more or a lot less and then you can either apply or cancel that okay just like up here if you want to do like a breath cancer aware month boom, right there it goes okay but now it'd be at the bottom so all you would need to do for the text is just move it up a little bit okay if you want to do like a scary movie do that okay and that's pretty much different things I mean you guys can play around with that I don't want to take up all this video of uh, you know me doing all these different things and stuff now also another thing too is let's say for instance you want to take part of another video or not another video but another picture and put it in with this picture simply go to upload photos and then you can click on just another one you wait for it to upload then you just uh, click on it like this and bring it up and boom there you go then you can resize it and twirl it around however you wish and you can do to this photo same exact thing as you, as you would do to the other photos as well okay hope this guys helps you out a little bit and uh, feel free to like and subscribe to my youtube channel i use it for all different types of purposes and stuff uh... some for learning some for teaching some for how to and other different things as well so feel free to share the video like and subscribe if you have any questions put them in the comment box and i'll get to you as soon as possible thanks